What's going on, PokeTube viewers? Today we're back with another video. This is my current investment or collection update. I spent some time yesterday going through my Google spreadsheet that I have, updating all my pack prices, updating all my random promos, adding in all my PSA cards that I bought over the last few months. I've really never owned a lot of PSA cards, but I finally added those all in. I didn't want to film that part of it because I was actually typing in the names of all the PSA cards. So I think maybe for future videos we'll actually go together, look at eBay history and update our pricing. Um, so right now I'm going to flip over to the actual spreadsheet. There's nothing fancy about this. It's just a basic Google spreadsheet. It's free. So right here is our collectible summary. We're at booster boxes, 8,400, booster packs, a little over 20,000. Our miscellaneous stuff, our blisters, theme decks, uh, pre-release kit, Japanese promos, 35 gram, PSA cards, a little over 14. Um, I have Dragon Ball, Funko, and sneakers in here as well, totaling up 7,500. So right now our Pokemon collection is setting at 78,000. Uh, by far not you know the biggest collection out there but uh, slowly building and I have, this does not include my sports cards that are PSA um, it does not include anything I have that isn't graded or loose any singles anything like that anything going to PSA or the over 1200 cards currently at PSA none of that is included it also doesn't include anything new that I have coming in. I won't put it in until I actually receive it and make a video to show you my mail. So let's go through section by section, cover some of the prices. You know what I think would have been enjoyable if, to sit through if you would have saw what I had in here for the current, the previous price, the last time I updated the sheet, probably back in the spring. So let's get right into it. We sold off quite a few things and that would be cool to show removing those quantities if I sold it. So booster boxes first section totaling nearly $8,500. We have 11 of the GX Ultra Shinies around $220 a piece for $2,400 total. So if you see something that's out of line with what you think the value is and what you're seeing sell, let me know. But I just checked them. I tried to make sure they were sales that had good buyers, good sellers, no zero feedback business. Um, Sun and Moon Burning Shadows booster box, $220. 12 boxes of evolutions, which I have more coming. I actually put these in at 180 yesterday or the day before, and now I'm seeing them selling consistently for 220. So we're gonna go ahead and update that. So that's brought our total for booster boxes to nearly nine grand. Uh, Japanese evolutions, I sold a bunch of these uh Back in the spring, I had probably 10. I'm down to three. I put the, they're, they're between five and 600. So I threw 600 in there. That way, when I go to update it later, I'm not so far off. Unbroken Bonds, I lowered these down to the restock price of 175. I had these about 220 in value. Cosmic Eclipse, I got five of those listed here. Japanese Tag Team GX. That's just a really cool art. It's not really worth a lot yet but the box has your Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. So that's our PSA, nine gram. Now in the individual booster packs, I bought 90% of these at the end of 2018. Um, I was just in between jobs when I was switching companies. I was waiting to hire on until the new year started because I didn't feel like working, <laughs> basically. Um, so I was just buying a bunch of packs. So we got base set. We got one pack left. It's back there on the wall. We got Japanese base set. Uh, those have went way up. I might even be a little low on that. Japanese jungle, jungle, non first edition. I have a placeholder for first edition. Don't have any packs. Didn't put the price in. Two Japanese fossil at 100. Five regular fossil at 125. Fossil first edition, I've got four. I put 350 on those. Uh, we're somewhere over the 300s. Base set two is probably our highest qual quantity of old school packs. I've got a 200. I think it's also one sell for 180. I've seen them going for over. You know, it's kind of hard because some of the different art variants pull a little bit more money. Then you've got the weighed packs that are heavy sales, and you've got ones that say light. 
So just try to do the best you can. Team Rocket, we got four regular, two first edition. Gym Heroes, we have 11. No first edition Gym Heroes. Four Gym Challenge regulars and eight first edition. Very nice to have those. Totaling up to one of our largest amounts over here. Neo Genesis, I've got one. I think it's a Lugia art, Lugia art so that's nice. Neo Genesis and first edition, zero. Neo Discovery, 12. And you can see at least if I'm tracking this correctly, the wide gap between first edition and non-first edition, especially in these Neo sets. I've got one Neo Revelations. I got three Japanese Neo Discovery. I had those at 82. Uh, placeholders for here for Neo Destiny, Japanese Expedition, four EX Ruby Sapphire, two Japanese Dominant Pearl. I haven't updated this. I don't know what it's worth. I've missed that one. Flash Fire Packs at 30 now. I think these were 15 when I had in the sheet before. Phantom Forces, I put a 10. Generations, 11. Evolutions Booster Packs. I just saw one on eBay sell this morning for 13. It says fresh from box. 13. I, I think it was free shipping. Um, so I, those were at 5, and then I put 7. Um, I have the Evolution Samples Packs, which is a pretty neat little piece at 6. And then I got 29 Shiny Legends. And the only reason I have so many is because when I bought them and I was opening them and the shinies weren't that, like, it was, it was hard to pull shinies. And I'm like, I really only want the Mew, so I just stopped opening them. So that is our booster packs. Down to part three miscellaneous. This is our highest value. So our booster packs, a little over 20 grand, almost 21,000. Down to the Japanese stuff. Random, random thing. So we've got Mario Luigi boxes. I put these at fifteen hundred piece. Mario's a little more, Luigi's a little less, but we just threw them at fifteen hundred. That's a uh, six grand in two sets, and those are right back here. I sold off three or four sets earlier this year between like four and five hundred set. So inflational, that's crazy. The Brock and Missy Japan Center promos I've been covering, still holding it's around sixty dollars. I think that's a good long-term hold. I've got the Pikachu cosplay sets. You can see my quantities here. These just touched 1,800, where the Bullpix is 150. We sold off the Pikachu skull ones for about 150, the pirate-type Pikachus back in the spring. And I've seen those go to three or 400 already, so it's just crazy. Uh, Japanese DX box, I actually ordered 10, or nine or 10 instead of five, when I normally order four to five. Those are holding around run 20. The Frat Plasma Freeze, the theme deck case at 350. I put my blisters down here, even though they are packs. I just didn't want to muddy up the top as much. So we got a jungle blister, and I actually bought two more of these, but I have not added those yet. I'll add those in when they arrive. The base set blister, our artworks are Blastoids, where I've seen the Charizard artwork and a mint blister go for as high as 25. I've seen Venusaur Blastoids right around 1,000. Fossil blister, Dragon blister, and I actually have couple more jungle blisters and fossil blisters where the, the, the glue was so old they fell off and I need to reattach them but I have not included those in here. Um, one sandstorm blister. I got the base set two theme deck box I bought for 600 by accident. I just threw a bid on it and I got it and now they're around a thousand. And I'm kicking myself for not buying the gym theme deck boxes that I wanted. They're uh, at like 800 to a thousand and now they're like just crazy. Just a beautiful piece, though. Like I love display pieces like that. Um, Delta Species Blister. I have a 400. The X Series ones are all over the place. Japanese VHS, which we've covered well. I threw it 600. My friend said he just sold this for like 550, 600. He listed them. So, uh, team up pre-release kits. I've been loading on these. I have 10 individual kits and one sealed. This is a little high. I right now it's about 500. So I'm gonna take that back down. These are roughly correct, 50 to 55. Gene, Jim Hero Steam Decks, instead of listing them all individually, I just took an average of what I have, 250. And then the Jim Challenge Steam Decks, I put it 400. Those those seem to vary a lot more, the Jim Challenge ones, but the Jim Heroes themed roughly between 250, 300, 200, 300 in that range. Down to Jungle Theme Decks, one of each, 125. Sun and Moon pre release kits. I just threw 50 on these. I, I bought a lot of these pre-release pre -release kits back in the day. Um, and I've only sold the Fates Collide. And I took everything off eBay. I sold that one for a lot more. It has Alakazam on the front. Um, Japanese v VMAX 
Thing Deck 55, 5 Quantity, Pikachu's 3DS XL, so that's video game, I have for 350 Evolutions, Elite Trainer Boxes, 75 apiece, I think 65, 75 is a good placeholder for now, and the Evolution pre with Cleese Kits, we've got 9 for 500 apiece at 4,500 total, so that brings our miscellaneous to 35 grand. Next, we're going to go into the PSA cards, and I was originally only going to enter all the like ones that I thought were high price, but... I just took the time to do them all, which this is going to be the most exhausting part of doing the update since I don't have a lot of duplicates of stuff. And when the 1200 cards come back, I got to figure out what I'm going to sell. And I do not have anything that I'm selling right now in the sheet because it's not my collection. But what I normally do when I have an uh, eBay store is I'll put eBay buy it now price less 20%. So I'll take the total of my eBay store. Take out 20% and put 80% of my value here. And this amount goes into my total net worth that I track over on my finance blog and on my personal capital uh, at, at free before Friday. So let's go to the PSA cards. We got our heavy hitters. Gold Star Charizard, PSA 9, Shining Charizard, a couple more Gold Star 9s. Funny about these, these were all in my camera case from like three years ago that I hadn't opened. I opened and they were in the front sleeve and I freaked out this this spring. I did post it on Instagram. We got Exhibition Charizard. Now, I've seen this sell for 500 and asking price went up to 1,000. So I'm holding that roughly there right now. We'll keep our eye on that. Sabrina's Espeon, love that card. That's Japanese. Team Up Charizard, so this is from the, from the individual uh, building battle kits that I've been telling you guys load up on, a lot of VHS web series. I won't read every single one, but we got our GX all for shinies. EV vending, a couple hidden fates cards that I really love the artworks on, that's why I bought those. Hmm. Red's Pikachu, real nice card. Eric's hospitality, got a typo there. That one really jumped. That was that was a 115. I thought it was a lot. I, I got it for like a hundred and it's right there. CE is Cosmic Eclipse. Those are beautiful, beautiful tens. Uh, some card ass cards. I haven't. I was having a hard time finding the sale history, even though some of these I just bought like a couple months ago. And then Evolution Previously Scared. So that brings our PSA minus sports. I've gotta take the time to add the sports into here and make it. I'm gonna make its own separate section. But sports are so much more volatile than Pokemon. It's just crazy how that works. But uh, 14,000 on PSA cards. And in total, on PSA cards, that's 59. That's that's pretty good. We and Like I said, we got these over half the value here in the first three cards. Since those are my rarest cards at this point. So, summary again, Pokemon we're holding at nearly 80,000. I have a whole placeholder for these three. I don't actually track the individual. Um, the Dragon Ball is mostly draft boxes up here and Funkos are up here which is only Dragon Ball now and that might be a little high. I've sold off some Funkos so I have to reevaluate that. And sneakers, I have a, a few pairs left at stock. It does at this point, it's it's almost like should I track it because I sold off so many dead stock pairs. I, a lot of this in these boxes are worn. Um, but anyways, this is we're at 86,000. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you thumbs up. Please comment below. And if you aren't, subscribe. And let me know. I I'm think next time I'm going to go through and update the prices live in the video. I feel like that would be fun to see how the market's changed. Um, especially on the sealed stuff. We'll go through the PSA stuff. We might just hit the heavy hitters. I don't want to draw the video too long. But as always, thank you guys for watching.